So when you open up the staging exercise, you're going to see a similar panel border, mostly horizontal, a bunch of folders, um, a folder of Odysseus. There's a handful of different versions of Odysseus there. A uh, folder of Circe. I think there's four different Circe iterations there. A folder of sailors. Many, 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 many sailors. Um, lots of them. Some that are just uh, faces from the side, perhaps. One that's already been turned into a pig hiding in the back. And then some that are full, full length. And then a small folder of backgrounds, which is mostly uh, some columns, some trees, and uh, one pig pen, and um, some other wood from another pig pen. And so the exercise is to pick out, I would say, at least one from each folder. By the way, you also have text balloons, as with every exercise, you can add text and captions afterwards, or before. Uh, at least one from every folder, an Odysseus, a Circe, a Sailor, and maybe a background, and stage them in such a way that it helps create that moment where they're just starting to suspect that something is up with Circe. There's a lot of different there's a lot of different variations on that moment. It could be after they've seen it, they've seen a sailor turn into a pig. It could be as she's leading them somewhere. Here's Odysseus being led by Circe. In fact, because I start these exercises um, without much intention. Uh, I'm going to just start with that one since I, since, I, since I said it. So let's start with Odysseus being led there. And I know from what I was peeking around in the Circe folder, I know there's one of her coming down some stairs or something. I think this one might be appropriate. This one maybe not yet. Um, this one might be appropriate. But this seem, this one here seems like the most appropriate. So I'm going to turn a couple of those off. And already, just from the size variation, I'm creating this sort of psychological story where she is massive and he is small. But I'll probably reduce her to fit in there. But before I do that, I want to see what kind of sailors might fit in with this particular staging. And of course, Circe and Odysseus are kind of lost there. This one is good. He could be watching what's happening with surprise. I like that. Let's keep him open. And this one um, here is a guy saying, hold on. Let's, let's, let, let's keep that one. I'm going to put these on the side, the ones I'm going to keep. Let's turn that guy off. Let's turn the drinking and the eating guy off. Not sure if we can use that guy. That guy seems appropriate for some other version of the story, but maybe not for this story. Let's keep that guy. Um, let's keep that guy for now. I think we're going to lose the pig, although I, ex I encourage you guys to use it and take that out. So I've created this sort of like uh, ring of sailors right now. I think although this guy feels like he needs to be in the center. Whoops. And um, not sure what's going on there. Even smaller than that, probably. So let's get Odysseus and Circe back on the stage, as we call it, <clears throat> and see what we can do. Now, um, we're going to do. A I'm going to have to do a little manipulation. I'm going to have to move my Circe folder behind my sailors, which looks like this in Photoshop, and it looks very similar in GIMP and in Manga Studio. I'm going to shrink her, like we were saying. So now she's about the same size. And if you remember from the brief word about perspective, size is one of our major indicators of space. So if I want this guy, the center guy, to be looking like he's way in the background, I need to shrink him and then raise him. These guys in the foreground can be big. Bigger than Circe, bigger than Odysseus. We'll move the sailors in front of Odysseus. So they see what's going on. Odysseus is walking. I'm going to shrink him even more. And I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to make a duplicate of him. This whole like row of sailors saying, don't do it, Odysseus. And 
So now what I've got, I think I've got a pretty good moment there. I think it uh, would be good to add some trees just for, whoa, way too many. Let's turn a bunch of these things off. I think let's leave that open and maybe that. And then turn some of this other stuff off and see how it's looking. And of course, these can be shrunk as well. collides with her hair a little bit, but maybe it's not so bad and we can actually tweak that a little bit going forward. So there we have an image which is working pretty well. It's not finished, but it's, um, it's, it's framed. We can see the, uh, we can see Odysseus look, walking towards Circe and looking towards Circe. They're framed by the background of these trees. They're also framed by uh, these sailors here. And some of the important content is this refusal, this like these two characters insisting that this not happen. What we need to do now is just tweak some of the lighting. And um, when I say lighting, I also mean values. You can do it with color, and you'll see lots of examples in the graphic novel of, of great use of color to sort of differentiate things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sailor, this sailor, one, two, and three in the foreground, and I'm going to gray them out a little bit. Um, and there's a, a lot of different ways to do that in various programs in um, Photoshop. I'm using this little slider and I'm going to bring all of these down to about the same level. And in one way I'm graying them out, in another way I'm sort of like lessening the focus on them in the same way that your eyes can only focus on sort of one distance at a time. They can't focus on all the distances. Um, so now I've they're still in the story. They're still noticing things, but they probably aren't as um, distracting right now. And then what's going on here is much more, much more in focus. But I still think there's a big. We need to link Circe and Odysseus a little more and separate these guys backwards. And I think, although I might be wrong, we might be able to to bring these guys down in the same way and see how that looks. Much better. So what we've got is Circe. It's a bit chaotic. There's a lot of things. Her hair, her trees are going on. It'd be nice to have a, something in the background behind these guys. And in fact, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out that big that thing. I'm going to shrink it down. and see if it works behind him. And I may have to gray this out a little bit too. And if I gray out even the blacks here, not just the whites, something like that is probably about right. And again, it becomes less, um, there's less focus on it. It becomes just a background element, but it helps frame the action and stuff like that. Kind of difficult to find the right sort of patterning here. I've added a couple duplicates. And what I've done isn't bad, but these guys now are too dark. Let's brighten them up a little. Oops. Not too bad. And that's a pretty good rendition now of the moment when Circe and Odysseus, or Odysseus is coming to Circe, but all the sailors know something's up. This is a reversal sort of of the story um, where Odysseus is actually being tricked a little bit, but the sailors know what's going on. But that's the point of this exercise, is to create some sort of narrative idea behind how we position the characters. <laughs>